Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this triangle ABC with given two side lengths 3 and 5 as you can see in this figure and moreover this angle B is twice as much of this angle C and now we are going to find the area of this triangle ABC. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and this time we are going to use trigonometry. So let's go ahead and use the law of sines to solve this triangle. And now let me go over this law of sines pretty quick. If we have this triangle ABC with this angle A, angle B and angle C with the opposite side length C opposite side length A and opposite side length lowercase b, then our law of sines is sine of angle A divided by side length A, sine of angle B divided by side length B, and sine of angle C divided by the side length C. Then we can write sine of this angle 2x divided by this opposite side 5 equal to sine of this angle which I wrote down over here divided by its opposite side 3 and here we can see a double angle 2x whenever we have a double angle we can take the sine of this double angle formula sine of 2 alpha equal to 2 sine of alpha cosine of alpha. So sine of 2x could be written as 2 sine of x times cosine of x divided by 5 equal to sine of x divided by 3. Let's go ahead and cross multiply to simplify this one. So that is going to give us when we cross multiply 3 times 2 is going to become 6 sine of x cosine of x equal to 5 times sine of x. We no longer have a fraction now. Let me go ahead and isolate cosine of x by dividing both sides by 6 sine of x and 6 sine of x over here as well. We can see that this sine x cancels out with this sine x. 6 is gone with this 6. We ended up with cosine of x equal to on this side sine of x is gone with this sine of x. We got 5 over 6. And now we can take the inverse part. So x could be written as cosine inverse of 5 over 6. And if we use a calculator, we know that cosine inverse of 5 over 6 is approximately equal to 33.56. So that means I can write x is approximately equal to our angle is 33.56 degrees. So therefore, this x angle, this angle is going to be this one over here. 33.56 degrees and this angle over here is going to be twice as that much so we are going to multiply by 2 if we multiply by 2 that is going to give us 67.12 degrees Here's our next step. We know that the sum of the angles of any triangles, these one, is 180 degrees. So we know two angles. We can figure out the third one. So let me just write down angle A plus angle B plus angle C equal to 180 degrees. In our case, we don't know this angle A. So I'm going to just find out angle A plus angle B in our case is 67.12 degrees plus angle C is 
फाइव सिक्स डिग्रीज इक्वल टू वन हंड्रेड एंड एटी डिग्रीज इसको हैर एंड सिंप्लीफाई फॉर द मोर सो एंगल ए प्लस वन हंड्रेड पॉइंट सिक्स एट डिग्रीज इफ वी एड दैम इक्वल टू वन हंड्रेड एंड एटी डिग्रीज लेस मूव दिस वन ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड एंगल ए इज गोइंग टू बी इक्वल टू वन हंड्रेड एटी माइनस वन हंड्रेड दिस हंड्रेड एटी डिग्री पॉइंट सिक्स एट डिग्रीज सो दैट मीन्स आवर एंगल ए इज गोइंग टू बी इक्वल टू सेवेंटी नाइन पॉइंट थ्री टू डिग्रीज सो दैट मीन्स दिस एंगल ए इज गोइंग टू बी सेवेंटी नाइन पॉइंट थ्री टू डिग्रीज so thus by using a law of sines we have figured out all of our three angles a b and c of this triangle abc and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this triangle abc and here's the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half time ab sin of theta let's go ahead and apply this formula over here there are two sides a and b are going to be a 5 and 3 and the angle between these two side lengths is going to be make sure we will be taking this one so let's go ahead and write down area equal to a half times Five times three sine of seventy nine point three two degrees, and we know that the sine of seventy nine point three two degrees is approximately equal to zero point nine eight two seven. So therefore, I can replace that one one over two times five times three. and this become 0.9827 and if we calculate this thing so area turns out to be approximately equal to 7.37 so thus the area of this triangle abc turns out to be 7.37 square units approximately let me just put down square units and that is our final answer so the area of this triangle is approximately equal to 7.37 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye